Hey guys, I have been meaning to make this video for a while now and just have not had a chance, but this topic got brought up again today on our live stream, so I thought that I would go ahead and create this quick video to show how you can add buttons to your homepage without having to use a table. So I started in Google Draw and I created these buttons, but I added this white border around all sides to sort of create a buffer to create the illusion of space between my buttons when I bring them into Canvas. So now I downloaded these buttons as a PNG and I am ready now to bring them into my Canvas course. I'm gonna hop back over to my Canvas course, click edit, and I want to add these buttons right here in this white space. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and then I'm going to start by centering my cursor. From here, I am going to click on the image icon for my rich content editor and then upload images. Now I am using the new rich content editor. So if you are using the old one, then it will look different. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload image. And then I am just going to drag and drop those buttons that I downloaded from Google draw. So I've got my first one in there. It's looking like a good size. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process for my following two buttons. Now in my district, we use an integrated literacy block and a math block. And then we also work with our students on social emotional learning. So I'm just gonna have those three buttons, but obviously you can make these buttons anything you'd like for your courses. So then I'm gonna go ahead now, add that third button. And you can see I now have those three nice buttons with white space in between them. Um, because I created that border around the button, it creates that illusion of space between them. Now I am ready to take these images and actually turn them into buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my eyelet button and I'm gonna click this link and then I'm gonna click on course links. From here, I have created a page that has a weekly outline for eyelet. So I'm gonna click on that. And now I'm gonna click on my math button. Again, click on the link, course links, and I'm gonna select my math page. And then I'm going to do the same thing for SEL. Oops. I could add an external link, so I could link this to outside of my Canvas course, but I meant to link it to a course link. And now when I click Save, you can see I now have these three nice buttons. Um, what's nice about this is I can kind of test out and see what that will look like. Now you'll notice it did bump it to another line. So depending on what your student's screen size is, it might move those buttons, but you can see it does kind of respond to the size of the screen. Um, but because it's not in a table, it moves around really nicely and my buttons still maintain um, the look that I want them to have. So you can see now when I click on those buttons, this one takes me to that eyelet page and click back home. And again, because my screen size is different, it did bump that SEL to the next line, but when my screen is bigger, it puts them all on the same line. And then I can click on math, and that takes me to my math page. And then I can click on SEL, and that takes me to my SEL page. Hopefully this gave you some ideas of how you can use buttons in your Canvas course without having to use a table.